Hi, I'm Maureen Whitehouse. In this video, I answer a question that came to me, how to set goals in 2023. So let's jump right in. How to set goals in 2023. So how to attain goals in 2023, as if this is a new and rare and beautiful space. First, connect to the divinity of you, your inner being. Allow yourself to feel yourself as though you're at one with the divine of you, the part of you that's infinite in its potential, the part of you that is abundant by nature, the part of you that's genius and and amazing. And when you're present and in that space, when you're feeling as though you feel just this sense of complete fullness is how this connectivity to the truth of who you are feels. Just coming from a place of fullness, now see what would be the and then there's this. What would you like to add to this sense of fullness and connectivity? Remember, the divinity of you is whole. There's no lack whatsoever, lacking and needing and wanting for nothing. So when you're aligned with that and you put forth an intention or a goal, it's going to be something amazing and joyful and wonderful and even greater fulfillment. You, you want this to be the, and then there's this, the something more. So always first go to a place where you're, you're setting aside some time and space for yourself, a little sacred space, maybe you set apart from the rest of your life and the conditions and the distractions of the world. Let yourself sit down for a moment, connect fully, just drop down into your heart and out of your head. Feel what would bring you even greater fulfillment and greater joy and greater love in your life. And it'll be unique for each one of us. That's the beauty of this is that there's no competition in this kind of uh, an experience of really setting a goal that's in alignment with your soul or the truth of you, the divinity of you. Each person's uh, awarenesses, individual awarenesses complement other people's impulses for the things that they'd like to bring to life or the things that they'd like to experience. And so there's never a competition here. So it's not about, oh, she wants this and she wants that. Maybe I want that too. It's a deeper sinking in to resonate with what you personally would feel most fulfilled and thrive in the experience of. Then just let yourself relax and sink into that. And then feel what it would feel like now for you to embody that identity, that being. If it's healthier, uh, see yourself, what would I do now in my life as that healthy person? What choices do I make? What kinds of things do I do? And start to cultivate these little small incremental habits, just ways of approaching life that begin to walk you towards this, this sense of accomplishing something that might look like it's outside of you, but the inception of it was between you and the divine. And then just approach all of that, the, the becoming of what you're now totally identified with, this healthy, beautiful, wonderful person that my goal is to be. Identify with what you would do now as that person and begin to do it now and now and now. And now, same thing for if you want to be an abundant person, what does it feel like right now to feel and feel the gratitude for the abundance in my life already? Now I move into the next moment and the next moment and the next moment in my life, feeling this sense of abundance, embodying this sense of abundance and letting myself now just walk into a life that I'm paving in, in the future really fun because it goes from a sense of fulfillment to greater and greater fulfillment, no lack or need necessary. Just this beautiful envisioning and then stepping into a life that leads you to this experience of a goal out that appears to be outside of you, but again, the inception is inside. And it's a fun way because we'll always expand and express ourselves in 
incrementally um, expansive ways. So being conscious about this, that you're, you're wanting your life to be originating the inception of the next and the next and the next moments of your life to be something that originates from this deep connectivity with the divinity of you. Really great question for this is a new way to approach the rest of your life and set goals that really, really, really mean something deeply to you personally. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button so I know to create more videos on this topic in the future. And speaking of future videos, please subscribe to my channel if you want to be alerted when I upload new ones. That also helps my channel a lot and tells YouTube to send more viewers like you to my content. I want to help as many people as possible here. Finally, if you're interested in learning more on this topic of goals, you might love this video I made about how to avoid goal setting mistakes. Thanks again. I'm so grateful for your presence here, and I'll see you in the next video.